Hey viewers, it's Tuesday on The Pagan Perspective, and I have a final paper to write for tomorrow, but instead I'm taking a walk to make this video. And this week's topic is hand fasting and marriage ceremonies. So I'm going to talk about hand fasting first, in case you guys don't know what that is. And hand fasting is a ritual that's used a lot by pagans and neo-pagans and people of Celtic traditions and things like that today and just basically associated with pagans now more than anything and it basically involves the two people who are being married which it can be used for same-sex marriages as well as heterosexual couples so bride and groom or brides or grooms what have you take hands um, it looks sort of like shaking hands and it originated from shaking hands to seal a contract and so they put their hands together and then someone ties a cord around their wrists thereby binding them together which is where we get the ties that bind and tying the knot sorry for all these interruptions and cuts in the background there's no continuity in this because i keep stopping when cars go by and things like that but anyway um so hand fasting like i said literally their hands get tied together um, showing their physical bond and it can be used as a real marriage ceremony like with license and everything and so it can be incorporated into a regular marriage ceremony just as symbolism or it can also be sort of just a temporary ceremony most of the time it's for a year and a day it would be sort of like a betrothal kind of like promise engagement thing and there's gonna be cars Sorry. Okay, sorry, I decided to take the rest of my walk and then film the rest of this from a stationary spot. So I am in the cemetery right now, and I knew that this would be a nice, quiet, peaceful, pretty place to vlog from today and finish this video. And also I thought it was kind of ironic um, that I'm in a cemetery talking about weddings, which are a very lively ceremony, but that's okay. I think everyone here will greatly appreciate it. So, as I just said, hand fastings can be used as regular legal ceremony or um, just for a year and a day. And then once that year and a day is up, it can be renewed by the couple for as long as love lasts, quote unquote. Um, some people choose to use a hand fasting as sort of like a trial togetherness process and just like promise to each other for a year and a day and then after that year and a day if they can't remain together then they will stop the bond the contract basically or um, if they choose to they would get married after that and I really like that idea so I think if I were to ever do a hand fasting well first of all I would have to be with someone who agrees with the symbolism of a hand fasting and I really do like the symbolism of being together and I like the idea of using it as a trial period because I feel like that would get rid of the any uncertainty of you know being stuck with them forever if you just go straight into a marriage and then you can't make it work kind of thing I think it would alleviate some of the fears that people might have in, you know, this is for life kind of thing, you know, at least that way you're thinking like, oh, it's only for a year, we'll take it a year at a time, and then after that, by then, maybe you could make a better decision on a real marriage. So I think I would like to try that um, with a future partner sometime, just the year in a day trial thing, because I really like having a specific bond to someone, and I don't think it's necessary. You can have loyalty to someone without being legally, civilly, or whatever, spiritually, but well, no, spiritually bound is completely different, but you know what I mean. Uh, but I think it would be cool, anyway, as just sort of a little extra thing to sort of really tell each other that you're in it for at least a year and a day. And I also think it would be really cool to incorporate into my actual legal marriage ceremony someday if my partner were up to it. Um, I think it's cute, just really, and I don't think there's anything wrong with incorporating it into an otherwise traditional Christian ceremony if the person I end up with is into that sort of thing. You know, I don't plan on getting married in, like, a church necessarily. I mean, I feel like an outdoor wedding somewhere would be cool, like, in, in the remains of a castle, something like that. I've been to a wedding that was in a cemetery, and obviously I like to hang out in cemeteries, so I don't know. So, I mean, 
I was raised Catholic, you know this, I don't even need to tell you, but I keep saying it just in case, just in case any of you are new viewers and didn't know that, right? I don't plan on getting married in a church in the traditional Christian sense. I don't plan on a lot of things, you know, my father can't walk me down the aisle so I'll have to have someone else do it and things like that. So why the heck not have a hand fasting thrown in there? I think it'd be cool. And I also really like the, uh, the more African-American tradition of jumping over the broom thing. I really like that. Uh, I don't know about stomping on glasses. That's you know, I don't think I can, I don't think I can work the Jewish tradition, but, uh, I like the jumping over a broom thing, and I like the being carried over the thresholds of your new home thing and stuff like that. So, I don't know, I think it would just be another cool thing to add into a marriage ceremony that I would definitely like to try someday if my partner were up for it. Uh, I also read earlier today, I was, like, refreshing my memory on hand fasting and things like that, and I read that in some versions of the ceremony, the cord is unbound directly at the end of the ceremony, but in other versions, the cord is left tied around the couple's wrists until the marriage is consummated. And I was wondering what you all think about that, because I think that would be pretty weird or difficult to uh, have to actually physically begin consummating the marriage, at least, before you could untie it. I don't know, if you're into that kind of thing. I just think it would be hard if it was like both of your right hand, because then it'd be like across, you know? I don't know. I just thought it was kind of weird. But, um, yeah. So, I don't think there's anything wrong with combining traditions if it's what you want. I mean, sure, my family might be a little weirded out by the fact that I want to have a hand fasting as part of my marriage ceremony, but who cares? It's my marriage, right? And as long as my partner's okay with it, and I'm sure my mom will be okay with it, and the higher beings that I believe in are okay with it, so that's all I care, really. As long as it's something to celebrate me and the person that I'm marrying, that's as much as I care about. And I wish that's as much as anyone else cared about, but I know that's not true. Because people really stick to specific tradition. And they're really bound by their religion and my family. I don't know. We'll see. But I don't think there's any wrong with anything wrong with combining it like that. And I do think it's a cool thing. I think hand fasting is cool. So I think that answers the question. And this is probably too long. And I'm going to have to cut it already. So I'm going to go do a vlog for my personal channel now. And I will see you guys on this channel next week. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching and blessed be.